time to uh -huh. Got it. Okay, we got a lot of mail. We do. Wow, I see they saved it up for last week. They don't deliver it anymore. They just put it all in on Monday. Look at these, they're multiplying. Yeah. We had one before. Okay, so here we have Barbara, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There we go. You can have that one. Carlene and team. Oh, you do awesome work. Don't let anyone tell you different. God bless and everybody, every one of you. Barbara. Okay. She'd like two chicken bricks. Okay, so we'll take that one off of here. We'll put this in the bucket, which is gonna go down there. We'll put that in the bucket there. And then this goes in the chicken brick department. And we're all set. Okay. I'll put that on there. Just so there. We got it. All right. Okay. Next one is National Grid for Janine. She didn't have a house anymore. Why is she getting a bill? Barbara again. Barbara again more. Ah. There we go. And she wants one of those things to go in there. Okay. Okay. And uh, this one, barbecue. And this is Kate Beckman. Wow. Kennywick. Washington, something like that. Okay, I can have that one. Throwback Thursday, a dollar like the original Fun Fun when it started. Huh. That's cute. Okay, that goes in there and that goes over there. Mm-hmm. Becky. Buck Hannon, West Dog bless everyone at Crazy Acres. Okay, she wants a thing over there. And she gave us a bunch of these, which is very nice. Thank you very much, and she can have that. And we have Terry Vargas, San Fran, San Francisco. Terry Vargas. That's, you get one of those. I get these. She'll put your chicken bricks. I appreciate. I so appreciate all you do. Thank you for teaching me something every day. Five chicken bricks and a dollar for the fun fun. Okay, we got that goes in there. Okay. We'll try and keep going. Uh, gimme, Tacoma, Washington. That's a gimme. She mailed it on the 17th. What's today? 22nd. Who? 22nd. 22nd. Okay, make sure there's nothing there. Okay, and here we have 
donation, not a bribe. Very good. Love it. Okay. There's one of those. And we have Donna Stewart, Clifton Forge, Virginia. Clifton Forge, Virginia. Raffle plus the fun fun. Okay, well that's in that pot there. And then the raffle goes over here and you take care of that one. And this goes in the pot. Oop, there. Wow, we got a lot of these. Yeah. Jackie, Colorado Springs. What do they do with this mail in the meantime? Where are they piling it up waiting? They come out here, delivering. I don't understand how all this is working. Okay, this is Jackie McLaughlin, mm -hmm. and that goes in there. Oh. And we have Sim Mulford, Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. can have that pile and she would like two chicken bricks okay and a couple dollars on this deal that goes over there and these go in here and the chicken bricks go in here we did it we're doing well yeah yeah we are. Audrey Hanson Green Bay they have it labeled the 818, 818. There you go. That goes in there, she wants two chicken bricks. It closed as a PP for the drawing and money for two chicken bricks. We enjoy all the YouTube videos. Chris is so sweet with introducing the dogs. Oh, see No phone. On my desk. For me or you? Oh, it's a phone. It's good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's a um a cheese bone. Cheese all set. It says a husband too. If that's what you're looking for. That's a weird thing, but it's it's chewable. It's it's cheese. What is it? It's a hard cheese bone. Sizzle. Cheese bone? Yeah. Yeah. Sizzle egg first. Yep. She has eaten the whole. Looks like a piece of the chair. Yep. No, it's a cheese bone. That's okay. A Himalayan cheese bone. I brought them in for the kids. She likes it. Yes, she likes it. It's good. Digestible. Okay. This is Tuesday. We enjoy Chris introducing the dog. Keep up the good work. Audrey and Marion. Hey. So it's okay. two chicken bricks. Did you write that on? Well, it's on there. It's on there. Okay. I don't have to write it on there. It's on there. Okay. But it's always good to ask. You got interrupted in the middle, so you never know where right. things <laughs> We got it. Okay, you can have that one. Mm -hmm. This is Andrea. Mm -hmm. And we put them in there, and you get that one. Then we have from buying from Zorro, we don't need to do. Farm Family Casualty. I thought 
we just paid this? And well, roll the easy way. I don't know. I'll let Lynn figure that out. I think we just wrote a check to them. Put it in the pot. Put it, you can throw that out. And then we have, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Colby Jakes, that goes over there. Uh oh, this is my neighbor's. That's gotta go. What we'll to call them? That's the neighbors. Okay, and this is Dara Seville. I just got an email from her, I think. Check inside. Uh-oh. Just to me. Who's this? I don't know. I can't read that. So well, we went. Maybe Donna will know who it is. Huh? Maybe Donna will know who it is. Yeah, we better let Donna worry about that. Okay. We'll put it all back together. I'll put it in the hot. Okay. Lopez Brother Tree Service. Tree removal, tree pruning, emergency services, and more. Estimate on trees to be removed or trimmed. Be a great time to save on a tree care project. We have a couple trees that have to come down. And we have a couple trees. I'll put that in. I'll put that in Lynn's department. Maybe she'll remind me. Wayfair. I never had a wafer a catalog before. Cindy said if you don't want it, she wants it. Who does? Cindy. Oh, well, she can have it. Spirit stick for dog fest. Okay. Right. Oh. Gotcha. What are we doing? We don't. Good catch. I'll grab it. We're not supposed to open it? Nope. She took something. She did. Okay. Okay, this, oh my word. Lordy, lordy, look at that. Huh. Dog fest. Huh, okay, so you're gonna hold that up? Yes. Amber? Yes, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful one. It's got Bentley and Chaos and Scarlet.
from Fogan. Okay. the golf cart? Okay, so we give that to Lynn. And it's from Fogan. Thank you, Fogan. Okay, we did that one. We did that one. We did that one. And now we got something up there. Yeah. This is Whipple, and it says it's for Carlene. That's me. She sent stuff last. Okay, and we have a letter. In answer to your question about all the plastic utensils I sent you, my grandmother used to have a family picnic and I saved the utensils from those parties. Just thought you could use them. So many people coming and going all the time. Hi to Cindy, we miss her. That's from Arlene Whipple. Okay, Arlene, thank you very much. Oh, I see, here we go. These kind of things. Yeah, and some poo picking, and a five dollar bill on it. Oh, I see. That's got to be going that oh, other direction. Yeah, and we have plastic utensils and poo pickers, and then this one goes over there, in that department, and this one stays in this one. That's to help with postage. Oh, well, that's all right. We'll throw that in the pot. Okay. We did all that. Okay, it's a long one. Is that one more? No, that's um, already opened. That's oh, that was a okay. spirit stick. Okay. You know, it's funny, I opened to this. I need a new bed, a new bed thing. Frame. I really do. Bed frame. Mine slides off on the floor. I'm always having a problem. understand how it works. I have to think about it. I don't understand how it works with a with the electric bed. But I know something is very wrong with my underparts. <laughs> yeah, that's not something you should probably tell people. <laughs> what happened now? You said there's something very wrong with your underparts. We were finding that funny. I know. Well, that's the problem. We don't want to forget that. Okay, we're gonna. Okay. We okay. Okay. Sound is on.
Karen McGrath is, hey Colleen, is it true that you and Janine get to use the swan boats out of the pond in the winter? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's where Janine learned to hate swans. Oh. They're not that friendly. Ooh. They belong to a friend of mine. She rents them to the city of Boston. Mm -hmm. She probably does it still. I don't know. Yeah. But they go winter in, she lives in Essex. Oh, okay. Missy Smith. Very interesting. She's the one who fed her children horse food on the way to the, air, on the, way to the school bus. Oh, boy. And you should see those kids now. Six foot two, gorgeous, muscular, climbing trees, you know. Yeah, okay. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. It's also, oh, no, I better not tell that story. <laughs> okay. I better leave that one out. I'll take your word for it. I think I told that one, though. That's what I can tell you. Go ahead. Okay, uh, UCLA mom wanted to know if comments are loading, and I'm going to have to say yes to that. Bio BC, love the butterfly card. Yes, I did too. I thought that was very pretty. Um, let's see. We got up to the cheese bone topic here. So, Bio BC said, Wow, well, is a cheese bone good? Sounds like I might want one. Texas Toast said, when they get huh. small, microwave the piece on high for a minute or so until it puffs up to a big, crunchy treat. My dog loves it best after it is microwaved. Wow. Okay, you want to remember that? Yeah, and Lynn knew that, because I think when we had little pieces left over, you can like put them huh. back together and make a bigger one. Um, Texas Toast said, it's made with yak milk. They're pretty expensive. And by OBC said, I'll pass but I wouldn't mind knitting with yak yarn, very soft stuff. I can tell you where sizzles really gnawing into hers, it's, it smells like old cheese. It's kind of a, it's, it's not the most okay. pleasant smell, but it's, she's clearly having a good time, so. Indy Dunes, hi Carlene and Heather, how was your Monday? Hectic. Hectic, okay. Hectic, made it. Okay, anything you wanna share? No. I don't remember what I did. Okay. But I, I drove around a lot. I got a fried egg sandwich down at the store. Okay. That started my day. Oh, I'll tell you, I did I did change from coffee to chai tea. Tea something yeah. at, at, at Dunkin' Donuts. It was yeah. very good. Yeah, they have like a chai tea latte usually. That's chai tea latte, yeah. Chai, that, that's a, they're right. Mm -hmm. It was it was good and it was cold cold I had it cold. Oh yeah, well those are good. Yeah. Okay, Carla wants to know what Dane was it that crawled over the fence today. Okay, that was not our dog. That was belonged to Elizabeth, who was here checking the fence trying to keep the goats in. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why it wasn't comfortable here. Uh, yeah, it had a red collar. It was getting adventurous. Yes. Um. Carlene, have you gotten Sizzle and Bessie mixed up as they Constantly. look a lot alike? Constantly. Yes. Um, let's see. Amber's spirit stick. There's the picture of it. Um, Lila May said what Bio said. Swam said she always sends in the nicest spirit sticks. And Bio said, yes, she makes beautiful ones. Love how this is honors three amazing Danes. Which it does. Reportedly, it was Arlo, whoever that is, the dog. Okay, um, was that an item? Was that item from Fugen a wall decal? I think they are so neat and wonder where she gets them. I don't know if it was a wall decal, that particular one, because Lynn was going to put it on her golf cart, but I, I assume they might be the same things. Um, like the one she sent us for the ice house. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, Fugen will, will answer where she gets them. Um, once in a blue moon said underparts are very particular, handle with care. <laughs> Lila May asked how Wanda was doing. I see she's not here anymore, so. She's across the driveway. Yeah, so she must be good. UCLA mom said seven minutes between sound is on and first comment. Strange. Interesting. Hmm. Denise wants to know how Pete is doing. Fine, I guess. 
I haven't heard anything bad. No, he's sleeping right now. Um, Martha would like to know how did the dog walker, walkers do? They did fine. It was hysterical. Because they went, they went into the A, they went around that A thing, which has got to be almost a quarter of a mile mm -hmm. around. But I just sat here watching, and they began to come out of there and go around the pond, and they were like priests coming out of <laughs> Rome, where they all get in the line, they all stay so far apart. It was, it was really pretty funny looking. But, but they all did fine. They did good. Had a good time. That's great. And we all sat in the grass and let the dogs relax for a while. They did fine. Oh, that sounds nice. Are we doing this every Sunday? What? Are we doing this every Sunday? Every Sunday, I, I, it's up to Lynn, but I think so. Okay. All right, I'll have to pop in for one. Um, two Cat Mom would like to know when Larky and Jiminy will be introduced to Bessie. I believe well, they have already met her. <laughs> yep. They have been. I carry them all in the same car. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's... <laughs> Oops. What are you barking at, says Um. Let's see. Two butterflies here. Non SD packing. Oh. That's all. There are a few people typing, so I was just going to give them another minute oh. there just to see what. So, doing. what's for dinner? Oh, I, I went and got, oh, my, I, my excitement of the day was I ordered Chinese food and went and got it on my own. Oh, okay. It wasn't easy. By the time I got back, it was, I was like, <laughs> I could barely get in here, but I did it. All right. So there is Chinese food left for me to have dinner. Oh, you didn't eat it yet? Huh? You didn't eat it yet? Oh, I ate a lot of it. Oh, okay. I'll just eat more of it. Oh, okay. I just, they have ridden together in the car. Yes, they have. And um, someone else is typing about Pete here. I was just kind of waiting to see if what that is. Yes, if it wasn't for Pete, I'd have both. I'd have all four dogs here for mail call, but I can't because Pete doesn't like Lockie. I can't imagine why. <laughs> well, in, in fairness, Pete doesn't like a lot of male dogs, so <laughs> I don't Does think Does the mattress lay, lay flat or? Or is the head elevated? I can make the head go up and down. That's what I don't understand, how that's going to go on a box spring or whatever it's on. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Texas Toast asked what's for dinner, but we already got that covered with the Chinese food. Um, yeah, if anybody has any suggestions on how to... Because right now I have a two-ton jack under the bottom corner. Yep. Because it sags oh. terribly. Oh. Okay. Um, pop it in now. Uh, if you should read the comments from Lindsay just before sound is on, Lindsay and Tilly battle, paddle boarding. Oh, okay, let's go see that. Ah, here it is. Okay, Lindsay says, Hi, CPs. Lindsay and Tilly here. Just wanted to share our fun experience from this weekend with those who may not have been on Facebook. I took Tilly paddle boarding for the first time yesterday. She was a little hesitant at first, but took to it pretty quickly. I was such a proud mama. Look at her, she's doing great. Yes, I hope she realizes how dangerous a Great Dane is in the water. They try and stand on your head. Oh. I hope she's got, you know, a, a life jacket on her. She, she does, I can see. Is that a life jacket? Yeah. Yeah, she's on good. the dog. On both of them, they both have. Um, Tilly's is green here, and, and okay. I can see Lindsay's right there. Whatever, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Because Great Danes are not good swimmers, and they try and stand on your head, oh. and they have been known to drown several people. I so could I, see that happening. You know, yeah. Be careful about that. Good to know. Thank you, Dee, for pointing that out, so we all got to see that. And Roxy's mom wanted to know if Pete was neutered, and I assume he is. I assume he is. Um, so I think uh, that looks like about it. I don't see anything else coming in. I think that's it. Oh, that's it? That's it. Is that it? All right. Thank you very much. And good night.
Night.